Ladies and gentlemen, a few days ago I succeeded in having a text interview with Kaguya, the admin of Hayori.net. And Gurochan as well, so check it out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. He officially became owner in April of 2022, and now, nine months later, he treats topics such as, the previous owner, his goals for the future, and new users that enter the site. Heyuri users, you might be interested in what Kaguya has been thinking. Those who don't use Heyuri, you might learn a thing or two before going to sleep. Before starting, the gameplay comes from when Heyuri users played Sven Co-op together. Recorded and uploaded by Shy Studios. His Vidly channel is on the description. Okay, let's start then. Before being involved with Heyori, what experiences did you have related to owning a website or moderating an online community? I guess there were none. Unless you count Strawberry Heaven. We'll talk about SH a little later on. For now I'd like to know, how did you first became involved with Heyori if you didn't have any previous experiences? Around August to September 2020 Heyori was getting spammed to oblivion on a daily basis, later revealed to be a sabotage by Akuma while no mods were online, and I offered to become a janitor on Heyuri to clean it up, but Heyuri died very shortly after I offered to be a volunteer. Later on Kuz tried to revive Heyuri on the Heyuri domain he was owning, but then it also got spammed very heavily and this happened. I offered to become a janitor to him to save Heyuri, so he made me one. On SH I continued as a moderator on Heyuri once the drama was resolved slash Liliko gave Kuz the domain. Saying you went from zero to hero would be quite an understatement. Well, there were some course of events happened, and I just happened to be the one who was around at the time to help Heyuri. Also, I started out as a Heyuri user, that's a big difference from zero. Given that you started as a user, has your perception of the site changed since you started running it? Not really, it's the same Heyuri, with some differences out of my control, but I still love it in the same way. Maybe I am just more concerned about implementing new features when I am able to. Slash organizing site tubes and town halls etc. But such responsibility is to be expected. The introduction of the site tube anime streams has become one more reason that the users are quite a proudful bunch, along with the lots of OC and determination to get a laugh out of each other. But personally, what is the thing you like the most about Heyori? Yes, I am not sure if it was mine or someone else's idea, but I am very happy with site to anime streams. As you know, I am one of those users as well, myself. Guess I like being able to have light-hearted fun the most on Heyuri. I wasn't around for the old web Heyuri is emulating, but when I read archives of old image boards, what draws my attention the most is that netizens used to have fun together without caring much about serious business stuff. That's what surprised me the most the day I found Heyuri, and pretty much the reason I got interested in it so much that I happened to administrate it today. I think that's the ultimate reason why users are seeking to have the most fun as possible, leading to the creating OC, slash interesting threads. When I am posting, I usually have time to proofread for grammar errors and such, please overlook if I make such errors now. Don't worry about it. God knows my grammar isn't perfect either. Do you have additional goals for Heyori? Or do you only focus on keeping the lighthearted fun alive? It's important to keep the fun alive, but I do have goals too. They're mostly about keeping the activity high, while keeping out culture alive, but Heyuri had another goal since before I was even involved. Just to be clear, the ultimate dream goal of Heyuri is to surpass sites like 4chan and Reddit, much like 5 Channel did in Japan. Eventually Heyuri will grow outside the image boards bubble and because of that the majority will be Gen Z. We will stick to our rules and enforce them properly. New users will learn the culture. Obviously this is a very high goal that seems impossible, so it tells to aim for the better forever. At the time, a lot of users were positive that Heyuri could catch 2004's 4chan speed, maybe that's a good goal now as well. Another long-term goal for me is probably having an active flash board, as 4chan's F is pretty much a legacy board and the shell of what it used to be, but that's mostly due to my personal interest, and not relating a lot to the main goal. Recently that goal seemed to be one step closer to being reality. 
because in the last week of December and first few days of January we experienced an influx of new users provided by one user, or perhaps more than one, advertising on various 4chan boards. Although the activity seems to have come back down after a few days. What was the whole situation like from your point of view? I was happy with it obviously, but from the moderation's perspective it wasn't the time to relax. There were some people who weren't quite fitting for Hey Uri slash obviously didn't bother to lurk a bit, so I sent them to a little, or permanent, depending on what stage of age they were in, vacation. But overall, it was great and fun. I feel like majority of the ones came a week earlier have already adopted to Hey Uri. Everybody active on Hayori at the time was able to presence the band hammer running wild. But beyond the people that are obviously toxic to the environment at first glance, do you see the fear of some that Hayori's culture might be lost should the site grow too fast as justified? I think that heavily depends on the new user base who is coming. Are they already familiar with image boards slash old interwebs? Or more importantly, are they willing to lurk if they aren't? If 10,000 new users come today but they are all already somewhat fitting to Hey Uri and understand the importance of lurking for a few days before posting, there wouldn't be any issues. For the recent wave of new users, I think we, as Hey Uri, did well enough to have them adjust to Hey Uri's culture. If that wasn't the case, I could also use the ban hammer a bit more harshly to newcomers, though that's something I really wish to not need to be doing. As you said, new users are coming in and most of them are learning to fit in. Hey Uri should rise as long as that's true. However, there was a point where it looked like it couldn't get any worse. Please, talk to me about how things were like during Strawberry Heaven and the so-called Dark Age. There was a few days period between Hey Uri's death and opening of SH where we had no shelter other than Kalamaz Bunker Discord server, where only select few was aware of. I am afraid a lot of users then simply left Hey Uri losing all their hope. But despite that, disregarding software limitations, I think SH itself wasn't so bad. There is a detailed article at Hey Uri's wiki, mostly written by the other moderator during the SH era, there were two main moderators at the time. During these times, Kuz and Liliko was in really bad terms. Liliko was holding the HeyUri.net domain, but was aware himself that he was unable to host HeyUri as a BBS. At some point he got matured, according to him, and accepted the piece to team up with Kuz and work as a developer for him. Here are some news from back then. Also, this page later became controversial as well, as it was giving news about Heyuri slash SH outside of the sites. In short, most users were simply hoping for a return of Heyuri during the SH era. We tried to hold an anime nominations thread for Mockley Anime too, but as nothing was certain, and we didn't know whether we would be posting on Heyuri or SH a week after, it got delayed. Luckily, the SH days are well behind us. They were brought on by bad administration, but you've known how to keep the site away from issues. What do you think sets you apart from the previous administration? I don't claim to be a better administrator, I am not the one to judge that anyways, but I've been a user long enough to feel closer to other users perhaps. Though I don't know if something like this really sets me apart from previous admins. I have also been behind a lot of stuff during Kuz's administration anyways, so it's hard to tell major differences. But for the easiest one, Kuz was later more involved in corporate stuff and tried to involve Heyuri in it, and also some wars, though I prefer to not comment on this. I've been opposite of him in that regard. At least I think that's how it's viewed, being in the center of events, it's sometimes hard to tell what users see. To close the topic of Kuz, what would you like to say to those that, for better or for worse, still associate him with Heyuri? Well, Kuz himself is controversial, but Heyuri has to follow his rules. We are lucky that he doesn't ask to ban Lalakin or other legally questionable stuff, it's just not allowed to show him in bad light. Overall I think that's a negligible thing, I am otherwise grateful that he invented Roulette, administrated Heyuri to shape it in a way that made me love Heyuri, and hosts slash pays for the domain today. Recently we had a hell freezes over situation, so to speak, when you announced that Heyori's BBS software Koko Natsuba was made open source. What led to this decision? 
Did you have to convince the powers that be? I don't know what made Kuz decide to make Kokonatuba open source, but I assume it was because Kokonatsuba is already not very advanced compared to Viking, for example, and Heiuri was the only website to use it anymore so holding it closed source would only block it from receiving volunteer help. It was a surprise for me as well, I didn't have any prior discussion about making it open sourced. It's amazing to see how many people volunteer to help in order to add new features even before Kokonatsuba was open source. In fact, it's amazing to see how the user base works together in general. Do you happen to have a favorite community project or event that has come out of the site? The recent Heiuri album was a very successful one I believe, could be the most successful one in the terms of number of users who contributed. I was also happy to see users collaborating to produce one album. Curry Moss was the best song of that album by far, but I digress. In any case, what are the plans for when the sites gets bigger? Do you see a point where Heiuri might get too big for its own good? If it ever gets to that level, more boards could divide the activity. It's not something we want to do at the current state however, it could be considered when things get to there. Even with more boards, I wouldn't want there to be sub-communities on Heiuri. I mean I don't want the kind of division like on 4chan, where posters are unique to boards and they don't check any other board than their own, and generals, which would break rule 6 on Heiuri, made this situation worse I think. You clearly don't mean to add new boards the near future, however, if someone forced you to add a new one under the threat of deleting Heiuri, which board would you add? To clarify, I don't mean to add Kokon Natsuba boards in the near future, but we may add some gimmick boards. Our mod has recently bought a VPS and working on setting some Perl scripts. I don't know whether he will manage doing that, but in any case, I would try running some BBS script that hasn't ever used in the West. Apart from that, I would set F, as I mentioned earlier. I wish Kokon Natsuba to have proper upload board support, which may never come in reality, before making it official, but there isn't anything blocking me to just set it so it would only allow SWF files. Kaguya, I think I've stolen enough of your time, so I'll end with this question, it has been barely 10 days since the year started. Yet, it feels like a lot has happened so far. So where do you see Kaori at the end of 2023? Don't worry about it lol. Actually thank you for being interested enough to ask these. It's very hard to guess where Heiuri will be at next week, yet alone in 11 months, but I think it will continue to grow through the year, maybe with some expected drops along the way. If I'm not wrong in this, we will get to see many interesting threads this year, and perhaps we will indeed be in the middle of our Platinum Age by the end of 2023. In any case, it can only keep getting more well known among the image board users. Actually, we are at a point where I wouldn't be too surprised if Heiuri somehow becomes the leader in the alternative image board scene for those who are tired of 4chan slash new to image boards and want to experience it fully by then, 